Let's just make a deal right now, guys. I'll limit myself to 5,000 calories in the next two hours. Deal? Good morning, guys. Welcome to Stuff Your Face Saturday. We are going to check out different street foods here in Chile. Should be an awesome time. I'm starving. I didn't have any breakfast whatsoever, which is not what you're supposed to do before you go and eat. You should have had a little snack, but I didn't. I'm going to stuff myself with all the street food I can possibly handle, and it's going to be awesome. Unhealthy. My body's not gonna like me after this. <laughs> today well I have limited myself to 5,000 calories <laughs> and we are going to find the most common street food here in Chile so my first Can question for you it? yeah of course we're going to need it hence the 5,000 <laughs> calories so my first question for you is if you were to name five of your dogs because I know that you like to name your dogs after food if you were to name five dogs after five of your most favorite street foods here in Chile, what names would you give those dogs? Okay. Well, Completo, and Empanada, Churrasco with carne mechada, so really good to go with Churrasco and mechada, and Barros Luca, and ah, the fried sushi stick. Fried sushi stick, what is that? I don't know, I've seen it and I've, I've never seen it in person. I've seen pictures on Facebook that people sell big fried sushi sticks like this. I wanna eat one. This is going to be a great day. I can't wait to digest 5,000 calories. <laughs> Empanada Center in Linares. These are our favorite empanadas. Empanadas, if you didn't see in another vlog, are these pieces of bread that you can either have them fried or here they put them in an oven. So I think it's less calories. Uh, and then they put different stuffing inside of it. And there's cheese or different kinds of meat or seafood, things like that. We're gonna get some right now. They are amazing. <laughs> The fried or baked in this case bread. And you open it up, it's so hot right now. But this is the famous pino type of empanada with little uh, beef in there, meat, and onions, and then there's uh, olives, olives yeah. on the very bottom of it. And a boiled egg. But it's delicious. Mm. Here goes. Mm, what do you think? A thousand calories already? <laughs> All right guys, we have gone across the street. I have not finished my empanada, but we're here for more food. And we've got a traditional hot dog in which nobody will eat here uh, because typically they have these completos instead. And completos are with tomato, with mayonnaise, with avocado, and all the works on top of it with the hot dog. So much better than going to a ball game in the United States and just having a regular hot dog. They also have a bunch of other things, but I think we're gonna try our hands on one of these little completos first. If you are celiac or gluten-free, you can't eat anything, anything, anything from this store at all. I should get wife of the year points for hanging out with this one on this day. All right, so we're not only getting completos, we're getting, uh, how do you say that? Os. Os. We're getting os as well. Uh, it's one S, okay? I mean, sometimes get it right. Sometimes, sometimes it's two, but... Sometimes it's an H. I mean, I guess here it's one S, os. I mean, they don't know English. I mean, come on. So we're gonna try our hands at that. Uh, that's like beef that's fried. And then Jenny is getting a churrasco. Churrasco. 
Italiana, and what is that? It has tomato and avocado and maybe. It's glass. It's called Coca Cola. It is complete. My <laughs> avocado, mayonnaise, uh, tomato, and somewhere down there, there's a hot dog. Mm -hmm. I'm eating an Italian cafe hot dog. It's made of tomato. My and <laughs> From hot dog to a mote con vacío. This is like a, uh, I don't know, a wheat. Uh, and then it's mixed with um, a piece of uh, the rasno. And then it's stirred together with the juice of that as well. And it's pretty delicious. A lot of people don't really like it. Um, I don't mind it though, especially after a big old completo. So if you look down this strip here, those are all going to be Monte Con Vacío. And if you look right behind me, all Monte Con Vacío también. They have all of that delicious juice with that Durazno, and it's so refreshing. They're up all summer. They come down in the winter because it's more of a summer drink. Uh, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, like a popsicle. But I think it's a little better for you. I don't know, maybe not. Now we gotta find some food for our gluten-free girl. So we were really, really feeling like we were not going to succeed in something and find something without gluten for at least. And we finally found something, one thing, out of, I don't know, four hours of walking around, and they are cherries. So another corner store type place that might be considered fast food, they're everywhere, are all of these different places to find uh, mixed nuts and dried berries and things like that. Another thing that Elise can finally eat as well. But they are delicious, we love this nice little snack. Very healthy too, look at all of them. So we've gone for uh, a little alimentras, which are, what do you say those? Almonds. Things? Almonds, and then uh, some dried fruit. I and think it's dried grape. Kind of looks like grape. What do you guys say? Grape? Looks like grape to me. But it's yummy. We've also gone for uh, a little dried mango. Because you really can't go wrong with mango. Never. Guys, we're gonna go into a bar right now. Might be my favorite bar in all of you. Check it out. So we walked in, there are three people at the bar, and one of the three people knew me. Said my name, John, John, hola. And so we sat down and talked to him for a long time. So nobody can eat this right now because we are completely stuffed, but you cannot forget the papas fritas that are here. They're on every street corner. They don't exactly taste as good as um, the papas fritas, the french fries that are in the United States that you might get at McDonald's or something that are so crispy and delicious. But here, instead of having ketchup with them, they typically have a bunch, a whole bunch of mayonnaise, or you can get it with mayonnaise and an extra benefit of hot dogs, smashed up hot dogs on top. We're gonna go for some ice cream. Mm, 
I got Manhattan. Manhattan is delicious in ice cream form. Well, I can't move a single stomach muscle anymore. We ate way too much food. Elise, how was your food today? Delicious. I had fruits and almonds and ice cream.